How did you reach your decision to violate the internment order? Well, I actually didn't make a decision that was more or less forced on me by me being arrested and so forth. I felt that, you know, that, hey, this is wrong, and that I was an American, and uh, they were doing this to me. And uh, I went along with arrest until, you know, if there was any possibilities of what, you know, if there were, were an opportunity for me. I knew I was going to go to court, but I didn't know how I was going to attack it because I didn't have any legal uh, experience behind me. But I was, I was uh, you know, determined that, uh, that uh, my rights were violated. Yeah. Were you afraid of being arrested? No, I wasn't, because I didn't feel that I was, I did anything wrong. And uh, if anybody did it wrong, it was the law, because I, I figured uh, it was unconstitutional what they were doing. I, I didn't feel like I was a criminal, and I didn't, I didn't feel that I did anything wrong. Um, I may have disobeyed the military order, but I'm not, I'm not in the military, you know. That's, that's the kind of feeling it was. Um, I feel that the wrong has right, and, um, and uh, that I, I'm involved in it. And, uh, and to have this, you know, not happen again, for educational purposes, I, I just continue on, and if I can make an appearance in class and so forth, and and, and let the students know what happened, uh, so that this won't ever happen to them or others, it's worthwhile doing. So that's what I've been.